In the previous video, we imported our videos into Windows Movie Maker, got them into one collection, and saved our project. Before we begin working with the videos, there are a few settings to keep in mind. One is the aspect ratio of the video we recorded. The main aspect ratios you'll encounter are standard definition, which is 4x3, and high definition, which is 16x9. The technical reasons for each ratio are not important. What is important is making sure to select the right one so our footage doesn't look stretched or squished. So what we have here is an SD video file in the 4x3 aspect ratio. But if we look in our preview window, the footage is being displayed in a window at 16x9, like that used for high definition. This error is causing the SD video to be stretched into the HD ratio. To change the aspect ratio, go to Tools, then Options, and here we'll see General, Advanced, and Compatibility tabs. Select Advanced and change the aspect ratio from 16x9 to 4x3. BAM! The preview window now displays the video in the proper proportion, as we can see by clicking play. However, if we click on an HD video file, as we have in this collection, you can see in the preview window that the video is squished. This is happening because the 16x9 HD file is being squished into a 4x3 ratio that we just selected. So we'll go back to Options, and change the aspect ratio back to 16x9 to display this file type properly. This uncovers a dilemma. You want to use only HD or only SD footage for a particular project. However, you may find yourself in instances where you have both. Since you have to pick one ratio for your final file, either your SD footage is going to look stretched, or your HD footage is going to look squished. Since the majority of your footage will most likely be in HD, and HD is where the future of video is going, we recommend always picking the 16x9 ratio to highlight that HD footage. So make sure you have the appropriate aspect ratio for your project. The only other setting to be aware of is NTSC versus PAL. The technical reasons for each are not important. NTSC is used in the United States, and PAL is popular in Europe. So we'll leave it on NTSC. The takeaway from all this to remember is that our HD footage requires the aspect ratio to be 16x9, and that the United States uses NTSC. In the next section, we'll begin reviewing our footage and start the ever-to-be-feared process of video editing. Be afraid. Be very afraid. I'm kidding. It's easy. I promise.